Okay, let's create our first graphical user interface program. Go ahead and run your macro if you have one. And I'm going to rename this one Hello World GUI. And go ahead and save it as that. And remember, we save as a .java. Now this is the basic skeleton we've been working with thus far. And there's one new change we're going to add. We're going to throw in something before our first line. We're going to add what's called an import statement. And that allows us to bring in pre-existing technology, such as another program or think of it like a plugin. But in this case, it's something from uh, the Java libraries that's been pre-made for us. If we were sophisticated enough or good enough programmers, we could even make our own plugins or packages. But we'll just leave it, uh, we'll start with something that's been made for us. So we're going to import Java X, which stands for the extended package. That's something that's newer as opposed to the regular Java ones. Dot swing, which is a graphical user interface component. Dot star, which star is a wild card every time you see it. In the computing world, it just means everything. So we're going to import Java X dot swing dot star. Now we're going to replace our hello world, or excuse me, our system dot out print method with this. We're going to use a J option pane, and that's the object we're using. And most objects in Java, remember it's an object-oriented programming, and this is the first object we pretty much encountered, objects have methods, just like you might have uh, methods or any sort of activity. Think of a verb, like a steering wheel can steer, uh, a gas pedal can be pressed, perhaps, or you can use it to accelerate. But in this case, we're going to use a J option pane, and we're going to followed by a period, and then we're going to use it show, input, dialog box, which is a graphical user box that has a little input area that people can type something into. So just like system.outprint, we need to have things in parentheses. Hello world. Oops. I'm going to compile it, and I'm going to run it, and there we go. We still have this command uh, program working in the background because this dialog box might be part of a larger graphical user interface. But we're using it uh, out of context, but it's much more fun to use than just the, the command prompt here. Now, if we were paying it, uh, have this set up correctly, we can get user input here. However, we're not listening yet, so to speak. So what we want to do, give ourselves some room. I'm going to create a string called input. and set it equal to a null string, or an empty string, or blank. That's the equivalent of setting, say, integer x equal to 0. It doesn't equal anything, but it has been initialized. So it's been declared. We declared a string named input. Remember, it's of type string, and it's been initialized to this value, which is nothing. So if we wanted to get information out of here, what we do is have to set it equal to something. And in this case, input. And then say uh, we could change that to enter your favorite movie. And notice I spelled this with Queen's English. You want to do the same. You don't want to do that here. Some people might add a UE on the end for dialogue. That will result in an error. So spell dialogue this way. I'm going to copy this. And if we don't set it equal to anything, just that box isn't, isn't useful, or it's not being used. And I'm going to display input. And when I run the program, whoops, I control 3 it. That runs an applet. And run my favorite movie, Star Wars. And Star Wars it is. I could also use concatenation. a space there so that it shows up and then a plus for concatenation so if I run that oops I'm hitting control 3 
favorite movie is Jaws. There we go. So that's a good start. Now for this class, you're, of course you're welcome to use show input dialogues the entire time. But it's kind of inefficient because we have an input box that we're not listening to here. Set, we, have it, we don't have it set equal to something. There's something else you can use if you want. Another method, we have a joptionpane.show message dialog. But there's one new thing there. We have to add this, the word null. The reason is a message dialog is a little pop-up. Generally, when you have an error, it pops up. And you generally have an error from coming from a larger program. This word null means it has no larger program it's a part of, that it's running just on its own, which is sort of unusual in the sense that it has no parent component. So you can put that in there. And we could do something like your, well, I could just copy what's here to show you how that might look. Compile it, as always. My favorite movie is Dumb and Dumber. Shows up this. But in our message dialog, notice just the message. And these things can be can customized later. We can, can, we can change the title. We can change the icon. That's our message text. That cancels it. But here we just have one option. So very efficient. That ends our program. Now, if you set it equal to like input equal, not a good idea because the message dialog does not have anywhere to put input. So, causes a problem. Incompatible types. So, just know to use one or the other, but like I said, if you want to use show input dialogs the whole time, fine by me.